their thistle. In the past, to get into the town of Carlingford, you had to pay a toll fee. The town was surrounded by a wall and had four gates called a thistle into it. There was o there's only one remaining thistle in the town. The existing thistle is the same arch shape as it was originally. There would have been a heavy wooden gate on top of the entrance. It may have been called a portcullis. This is a gate that would open up and down. This would make it hard to break in because it was stronger. There was a latrine inside of the wall on top of the stairs that led upstairs. The hole in the wall opens up to the next garden. In the thistle is the black hole. Anyone that broke the laws of the town would be thrown in there. It is a small smelly place. The original thistle would have a flat roof like the mint and was three stories high. In the early 1800s, this top story was falling down and was replaced with the slate roof that is there today. The Thulsal is now registered in the name of Carlingford Lock Heritage Trust. This has enabled us to apply for grant aid to the Wall Towns Network in order to plan for the process of repair and interpretation. The monument was researched by Oxford Archaeology as part of a study on town walls in 2007, commissioned by the Heritage Council. It also features in An Antiquarian's Guide, published by the Heritage Trust in 1992. Carlingford's other medieval remains are in the care of the Office of Public Works or are in private ownership. So we are delighted that the last remaining town gate is set to get the attention it deserves. We await the outcome of our planning application.